Good afternoon. On behalf of the Equal Rights Amendment North Carolina Alliance, I welcome you to today's news conference. Uh, my name is Roberta Madden. I'm one of the two co-chairs of this new alliance. Today is a historic occasion, and we're announcing the commissioning of this new alliance today. We chose April 12th for a reason. It's Equal Pay Day. That's the symbolic day when the average women's wages catch up with men's from the previous year. That's right. The average woman who works full time in the United States typically has to work 15 months to take home what a white male did in just 12 months. And if you think that's bad, this pay gap is even larger for black women and Latina women. And it's just one of the many ways that women experience inequality in the United States. The ERA North Carolina Alliance is a new nonpartisan coalition. We're working toward ratification of the Equal Rights Amendment in our state as part of a nationwide strategy to gain passage, whether by achieving ratification by three more states <coughs> to reach the 38 states needed for inclusion in the U.S. Constitution, or by starting over. Since in the late, in the early 70s and the late 70s and the early 80s, we were unable to reach 38 states, although we did get 35 to ratify. During that time, many state and federal laws have been passed to achieve greater gender, gender equality in the United States. But these laws are not inclusive or comprehensive or uniform, and they're subject to be rolled back by legislators. Just a couple of years ago, the state of Wisconsin repealed its equal pay law. And that's happening all over the country. In a lot of cases, these new laws have failed at the judicial level, where gender discrimination does not receive strict judicial scrutiny, as do cases of discrimination based on race or religion. And we believe that only when women are written into the Constitution will true gender equality be possible. The political reemergence of the UA comes at a time of significant unrest for women who are dissatisfied with the status of women's rights, both in North Carolina and across the nation. The demand for equal rights is rising in response to regressive legislation and ongoing practices seen as hostile to women in the areas of pay inequity, pregnancy discrimination, violence against women, and a lack of political parity. Last fall, Ratify ERA North Carolina, the organization which I represent here, hosted an ERA conference in Greensboro. We had leaders there who came from several other organizations. Following that conference and a series of conference calls, the participants decided we wanted to create an ERA alliance made up of state organizations and individuals advocating passage of the ERA in collaboration with the new national ERA coalition. Membership in our alliance is open to individuals and organizations committed to ratification of the Equal Rights Amendment. At this time, we've got a lot of lead organizations already signed up and more will be coming. These include the American Association of University Women, of North Carolina, the Democratic Women of North Carolina, the League of Win Women Voters of North Carolina, the National Organization for Women of North Carolina, North Carolina Business and Professional Women, North Carolina Women United, and the Women's Forum of North Carolina. And as I said before, the Alliance is operating in direct coalition with the National ERA Coalition. Speaking at today's news conference are two distinguished advocates of the ERA. To my right is Dr. E. Faye Williams, who is the national president and CEO of the National Congress of, ne of Black Women. And to her right, Galia Paliga, the North Carolina now state president. I uh, wanted to let you know that Senator Floyd McKissick of Durham and Granville counties was the lead sponsor of the ERA in the Senate in 2015, and he originally planned to be with us, but it was called to take part in a very important hearing on Medicaid expansion. Also, Representative Carla Cunningham, the lead sponsor of the ERA in the House, could not be here today because of a previous commitment. 
We have a letter from Jessica Newworth, who is president of the ERA Coalition, and I won't read you the whole thing, but there are copies out there on the table. She writes, Dear friends, I'm pleased to send this note of congratulations as you celebrate the official commissioning of the ERA North Carolina Alliance, a state affiliate of the ERA Coalition. By the way, we are the first state affiliate. Our work in Washington and across the country is made possible by the passion and work of our state advocates. Creation of the ERA Alliance inspires hope and energy as we move toward our goal of constitutional equality to ensure that women have effective legal protection from discrimination. Uh, and there's more, so I encourage you to pick up a copy of her letter and also later on to take a, a look at the copies of her book, her signed um, book, Equal Means Equal. And this afternoon at 3.30 in this same room, uh, there will be a panel discussion. These speakers will look at why is the ERA needed, why did it fail in the 1980s, and about the efforts for ratification now. This panel discussion is free and open to everyone. These events are being hosted by the Department of Win Women's, Gender, and Sexuality Studies at Wake Forest University, and we very much appreciate their sponsorship of this historic occasion. I think we should give them a hand. <laughs> Personally, I've been a passionate proponent of the ERA for 44 years. You could do the math, but that's over half of my life and legislators who refused to take seriously equal rights for women and for men broke my heart many times, but to give up is unthinkable. Some people argue that the time is not right to push for the Equal Rights Amendment. What if Dr. Martin Luther King had decided not to cross that bridge in Selma because the time wasn't right? He understood that the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends toward justice. 93 years ago, Alice Paul first proposed the ERA. 93 years ago. Who knew that it would take nearly half a century? Who knew that the arc of the moral universe is so long? Now we're on the brink of a national consensus that women and men must have equal rights. The formation of our new ERA alliance is a sign that we will never, never, never give up.